All right, so here is the slurp barrel that I modeled in a previous video. And I'm going to do the materials for this. It's going to take three parts, really. We're going to do some brushed metal on this. We're going to do some paint. And we're going to do a decal. And in the end, it should end up looking something like this. All right, so we've got the brushed metal. We've got the paint. And we've got the logo. All right, so let's get to it. first thing that I think I'm going to do is I'm going to join all these pieces control J and that way the uh, the paint is going to go over all of it all right so let's hop over to the shading tab and I'm just going to create a new material let's call this metal and we'll start by adding a noise texture And with the node wrangler enabled, I'm going to press Control T to add mapping nodes. And I'm going to take object into vector. And we'll throw in a color ramp down here. I'm just going to shift control left click to view that. Start pulling these in here. Now, I want this to be brushed uh, metal, so I'm gonna come down here and uh, do something like 40 in the Z scale, and we'll get that. I'm gonna take the metallic and bring that up. I'll bring the roughness down a little bit. And now we'll shift control left click on there. I'll plug that in we can start seeing our brushed metal here. I'm going to change these values a little bit. Let's come over here. Change the detail. The roughness and the distortion. All right, so we're starting to get a nice, a nice effect there. Let's also do some bump. So let's take the noise texture and the color ramp, shift D, copy them down. I'm gonna take the object here and come into the vector. I don't need the, the brushed angle type thing horizontal I'm going to need a vector bump into height and into the normal let's change some of these values Okay, that looks okay. We can also try plugging this into the roughness to give it some spots that are are shiny and some spots that aren't quite as shiny. We can play with these values here a little bit. You can see what, how that works there. See the shininess coming through. Almost looks like they're let's try swapping these. Let's look in layout. And you can try different um, HDRs to see how it's looking. So I, I like that. I think that looks kind of cool. 
All right, so that's our basic brushed metal there. And the next thing we need to do is we need to add some paint to this. All right, so let's select this and let's create a new material. We'll call it paint. And for this one, we're going to use Musgrave. We'll get a color ramp going. And I think I'll shift I'll control T as well. Take the object to the vector. Okay, so now I'm just seeing the paint on there. Okay, so here's what I need to do. I'm gonna bring these in nice and tight like this. And for now, I'm just going to give this um, color like that. Okay, and the closer I can get them, the sharper I'll get those for, for paint. You change the detail and change the shape a bit. You can see that the reason I had joined these so that this paint blob will kind of go over from the top onto the bottom. Otherwise, they'd be separate pieces and it wouldn't wouldn't quite look right. So, let me get some blobs of paint on there. And we'll take this and we'll put that into a bump as well. Into the height. see that it looks a little bit more like paint. Bring the roughness down. Maybe the specular up. Maybe a bit of clear coat. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to take all this stuff and I'm going to go control G to make it a group. And press tab to come out of the group. So I've got a node group here. I'm going to press N, and over here I'm going to call this paint. And I can give it a color if I want to. Just like that. So if I go tab in, I've got paint. Okay, now. I'm going to take this plug it into here take that and delete that now it seems like it's gone okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this select it come back to the metal control V to paste it and just drag it up here pull this out now let's come back to our main model and let's make sure that metal is applied there so now I want to mix the paint with the, with the metal so I'm going to bring in a mix shader, drop it down there. I'm going to pull this down to the bottom, plug the paint in there. And now I've got that paint on my metal. I can still come in here if I want to. Press tab. I can change the color if I want anything I like. So I'll leave it there for the time being. Not there. A little bit over there. All right, cool. All right, so that's how it looks uh, so far. And of course, if you go back and you uh, change the, the, the Musgrave in any way, you can change all of that stuff. So in the next video, I'll show you how to put on the deco and we'll make any final tweaks and we'll be done. Thanks for watching.